Hey, it's Austin. Uh, I have some people ask me what a T3, T4 turbo is. So in this video, I'm going to tell you the definition of a T3, T4 turbo. So here's an example I have. This has a 60-1 compressor wheel, which was used with a T4 turbine housing originally and a T4 shaft. So the definition is when you're using a T3 turbine housing with a T3 turbine, which is the same thing as a stage 3 shaft, which is 55 by 65 millimeter, and then you're going to use a compressor wheel that we label as a T4 compressor wheel because it originally comes on a turbo with a T4 exhaust housing. So with this example, a 60-1 compressor wheel is 59 millimeter by 76 millimeter. So it's a little bit larger than the turbine side, which is 55 millimeter by 65 millimeter. So the advantage of having a turbo like this is that you can force more air in without having to upgrade the exhaust side and possibly sacrifice some spool. So this turbo would be great for like a 1.8 liter, a 2.0 liter for somebody that's looking to go to like make 450 horsepower. So now that I told you that, let me show you what a T4 exhaust housing is because I know some people are confused about that. This is a T4 exhaust housing. This one's a T3. This one is actually a divided T4 which comes in open and divided. The, the, uh, the T3 also comes in open and divided, but it's more rare to find in divided. So the main reason I made this video is because I've had somebody tell me that they wanted to put a T3, T4 turbo on their car, or, or it was mainly a V8. And I was thinking, well, that doesn't really make a lot of sense because putting a turbo that size is too small because if you're you're trying to put it on a V8 you want to go with a T4 exhaust housing and the reason why is because the naturally aspirated flow of the engine is not going to be supported well by the T3 turbine housing or that turbine wheel so <clears throat> what's going to happen is if you put the T3 T4 turbo on a V8 motor, you're going to see that it's going to make pretty good power until you get to the higher RPM, which is the point when the engine is going to outflow the turbo. So that is one thing you want to keep in mind when you're choosing a turbo. And if you tell me T3, T4 turbo, that's what you're telling me that, that you want. So here's one more example that I wanted to show you that is not considered a T3, T4 turbo. The reason why is because the compressor wheel is generally on a turbo that comes with a T3 flange. This compressor wheel is a TO4E54 compressor wheel, which is 54 millimeter by 76 millimeter. Of course, on the turbine side, we have the same stage 3 turbine with a T3 exhaust housing. Now this turbo is actually a PTE and from the serial numbers on it somewhere, I think it said 34, uh, 3431E or either it said 5431E. This would just be considered just a T3 turbo. Now how do you decide between the T3, T3, T4 turbo versus the T3 turbo? The way I would decide is if you're going with the larger compressor wheel if you're trying to make above 450 horsepower to 500 max. And then with this turbo, you're trying to make 400 horsepower to 450 max. Thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, please comment below. Or you can always email me at TurboLabAmerica at gmail.